essentially what I'm going to do is a bit of a guide so the first one you got to score eight goals in rivals uh, literally just score eight goals so that one you just do normally you don't need any really help for that one you just got to play rivals and score some goals uh, this one score with a league earn a Bundesliga and a Premier League player in three squad battle wins on semi-professional uh, so really see my advice is this one is to go for either the 4-2-4 formation or the 4-3-3 and what you want to do is your I put your left wing in your right wing as uh, for example Ligon and your striker is Bundesliga right and then on your bench put some Premier League attackers on the bench and uh, always only shoot with your left wing, right wing and striker and say you score with your striker, that's your Bundesliga player, so that one's done. You then get onto your bench and you sub on your Premier League player for your Bundesliga striker. Uh, and then, if you, for example, say you, uh, say you score with your Premier League striker, but you do it for the Bundesliga one, you do it for the Premier League one, and you just got to get it done for league one. So then that's where you put on, you've got another league one striker on the bench, and then you sub off your Premier League striker for league one striker, and you have a full league one attack, and you just got to score a goal. Essentially, you're just rotating your attack force with league one, Bundesliga, and Premier League players. My advice is though, Make sure you have at least one league in, one Bundesliga and one Premier League attack on your bench at all time. Just in case of that scenario which I just described, where even though your left wing and right wing at the start of the game was league in, you're not necessarily going to score with them uh, like easily compared to your striker. So always have at least one attacker from those three leagues on your bench so you can sub them on. But essentially you just score with one of your attackers from any of those three leagues and you sub them off for uh, one which you haven't scored for yet. So that one, just a bit of rotation. This one, score 12 goals using players with minimum 80 physicality in rivals. Now, what I've done is I've used the Premier League and I've got about 10 different players you can use for this objective. I'm going to go back to it in a minute. Uh, but the fourth one, assist five goals with love, love through pass, which I imagine is over top through ball, uh, which is RB and Y. I want to say it's RB and Y or LB and Y. Uh, I imagine it's just over the top through ball. Uh, so that one again, you've just got to use Premier League players. So my advice for this one is go for a full Premier League midfield. Again, if you're using a 4-3-3, uh, maybe have like De Bruyne. Uh, who else have you got? De Bruyne, Naby Keita, and who else could you have? It's quite an attacking midfielder. You've got Deli Alley. So you can go for those three players in your midfield, and you just want to play over the top three balls. That one, it's just going to take a bit of time to honest with you. Uh, but if you do put your team name has a uh, Foot Miss Gabarman objective or Foot Miss Gabarman or Line Break objective, uh, you might get a player who's trying to do the same objective as you, so you could both just literally do it in one game and just do it over the top three balls for each other. So, again, that's where if you get their gamer tag, drop them a message on Xbox or PS4 uh, or PSM Master, you know, whatever it is, and just ask them if you want to do the Line Break objective because it doesn't say you have to do it in separate games, so you can literally get it done in about 20 minutes. If you find a good opponent who also wants to do it. Now, last one score using Ivory Coast players in four separate rival wins. So, again, I've got some more Ivory Coast players on this team. So, I'm going to show you now uh, the players I've gone for in terms of uh, physicality and then obviously Ivory Coast attackers. So, Ivory Coast got Pepe, we've got Max, is it Max Gradle? Yeah, I think it is. Max Gradle, uh, Jovino, Zaha. Again, Zaha and Pepe when being Premier League some of these objectives you'll be able to do together they're the four i went for for ivory coast uh, you know they're probably the best ones to get uh, i'd definitely recommend getting zaha he's an absolute beast on this game and then for the premier league strikers we've got harry kane with 83 we've got Haller with 82 we've got wesley with 88 we've got john barnes with 81 we've got deanie with 85 joe linton with 81 okaka with 82 and the man the myth the legend andy carroll with 80 physicality so yeah, just pick some of those players, whack them in a the team, uh, score some goals, and yeah, hopefully your jet doesn't take you too long. If it does help you out, please do smash a like and drop a sub down below if you haven't already.